What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Rex here today. We are back with another one versus one ranked duel today. I'm sure you've all heard the news. It's a, it's a very sad day, um, which I'd like to talk about. Um, I'm going to be playing Wukong because it is voiced by Sean Schemmel, who is the voice actor of Goku. And Goku is based, fun fact, off of uh, Sun Wukong. So I thought it would be a little appropriate to, to play him and, and talk about this. Now, uh, Akira Toriyama's passed on March 1st, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we found out last night around 11 o'clock, my time, 10 p.m. EST, uh, and it was heartbreaking. Um, I've seen so many videos and so many memoirs and posts from people, peers, celebrities, manga artists alike about the, you know, the influence that this man had on everything, and not only them, but including myself. As, as you know, I literally, I talk about Dragon Ball every every other day like literally look at my look at my profile picture look at so much of my channel has been so heavily influenced by dragon ball look at my old montages with super saiyan allure and my old alert everything dragon ball man like it's it's been such such a humongous part of my life and not even like Ah, man, I shed some tears last night. I'm not even kidding. I got very, I got very emotional through seeing a lot of, a lot of the stuff that was made um, in regards to everything and fuck. and um, and there's just so much to say and and, and just discuss the influence that he's had on not only me, but so many, including a lot of you, I would obviously imagine. Um, through my childhood, uh, I remember just going back home every day and watching Dragon Ball on Cartoon Network, and, and even as an adult, The influence that he's had through all of our lives and just going home after a hard day and watching the Dragon Ball episodes come out, Dragon Ball Z and growing up with Goku and and all of that in our lives and how much it inspired all of us to even, so much of us even believe we would turn Super Saiyan one day. A friend of mine. I used to be an active member in my community. I still remember to this day, uh, he used to talk about how he would just sit in his room, and he truly believed, like when he was younger, that he would be able to turn Super Saiyan. And I remember I used to think the same thing a lot. I know this is a bit of a somber story, mind you, but... The story stuck with me a lot, because he had, uh, I also really believed, even, like, as late as, like, high school, that, you know, like, that I was, you know, like, special, and we all are, but I remember him saying that story about how he was gonna, he truly believed he would turn Super Saiyan, and unfortunately the man passed away in a car crash a few years back, and... I remember that was an awakening for me, but it doesn't change the influence that even on his life, you know, before passing, but how much it mattered to him and as well as so many other people, including other manga artists, all the stuff released from the creators of Naruto, One Piece, One Punch Man, and the fact that they looked up to him and all they wanted was praise from him and they grew up on manga and how back in that day manga was considered you know not the norm and geeky or nerdy to even to, to read or watch and dragon balls would sort of normalize things and made it so 
it inspired creators like the creators of, of Naruto. And, uh, is that really worth it, though? Yes. Killing people is rad. Awesome. I'm gonna test his voice line. You certainly know a trick or two, but watch what I. But yeah, let's go, Ku. The statement's released, but I don't. It's so saddening. Like, it's just had such an influence on my life, and I don't even know, man. Like it. A good item. Fuck, man, like, I, I was, uh, I went to the gym today, and I was just seeing posts about, like, um, just, like, Toriyama and Otherworld and stuff like that. Fuck, man, like, it, it was actually, like, really hard not to cry in, like, the middle of the fucking gym. Just the... So much was just influenced by, it. like, who knows, like... For all we know, Sean Schemmel, the voice actor of the character that I'm fucking playing right now, probably got his big break as a voice actor. From, like, just from voicing Goku, obviously. He might not, he probably wouldn't have even been the character, voicing the character that I'm playing right now. That's the influence. That's just the beginning of how far Kira Toriyama's reach. It's like, like it's it's crazy. Like to even begin to think about. And I truly hope you guys pay your respects as well. And I don't know, just try and cherish. You know, like it's this. It's sad when anyone passes away, man. But it is good to remember the the good that has happened and the amount of lives that were influenced and. You know, it was like the, like the same thing when my, my best friend had committed suicide and, you know, a big thing that helped me get through it was obviously, you know, like, it's not like I knew a carry Tori on the man, like, I'm not trying to say anything like that, but what helped me get through it is just remembering the good memories and, you know, fuck this is a touchy subject, man. And ev all the, you know, The good and everything that he influenced and did in his life. Oh, damn, it's still in range. Yeah, man. Like, it's good to think back on that, and I'm definitely gonna do a rewatch of Dragon Ball here soon. Now, I read the manga. I look forward to the manga every 20th of the month. It has been some of the most exciting manga stuff that has ever come. Dragon Ball Daima was... Toriyama's last passion project that he really... Like, was his... He, like, wanted it to be his, and... It was his last thing that he really wanted, and... He never, or, like... He never even got to see it, man, and it's... Ugh... It sucks, man. Like... Oops. Drink some water in my fucking throat, man. God damn it. <clears throat> I try to avoid talking about this all fucking day because I don't want to. Oh, man. It fucking sucks. But yeah, it's had such an influence not only on obviously my channel, but my life and so many, so many lives. It's... Like, it... I can't even begin to describe it. Fuck, even the Japanese government or whatnot, I can't remember the actual government officials, but they made an actual statement in regards to his passing. Which is just, just goes to show the reach that that man had. It's inspirational. It inspired so fucking many people. Like, so many people, it's not even funny. Like, it's, it, like, it's unfathomable how far his reach was. And I just, I wanted to do one, at least, a video dedicated to talking about it and the memory of and how much he inspired my life. 
Now, you want to know something even crazier? I owe Akira Toriyama to the reason why I was the best friend or excuse me. Oh my god, I can't even fucking do that. My friend's wedding and everything. Because we bonded in high school because he watched Dragon Ball. Fucking Rexy! Oh my god! I'm so distracted, I apologize guys. This is just a lot. The reason why we bonded and became like he is my closest friend in my life. And the reason for that is because of Dragon Ball. The reason me and him are so close is because of Akira Toriyama. Me and him talked about it and were on the phone last night with each other. Talking about how much he influenced our lives and why it's the reason we're even so close today. God. Fuck, man. Always got that ult up, eh? So yeah, I just wanted to talk about it today and you know, share my history with the franchise and the man that made it all happen. Pay my respects. I guess he's had just such a heavily heavy influence in my life, man. God. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy. Shit's making me choke up for fuck's sakes. I hope you're all doing well though. I hope you're handling all the news well. Fuck, man, I'm not even kidding. Some of my real-life friends messaged me and asked if I was okay. <laughs> not even kidding, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Fucking crazy. That's actually crazy. Because they know how much of an influence that this man had on me. Oh, man. But it is nice to remember the good. And just cherish that, you know? Fuck, is it ever hard to go on Twitter, though, man? Like, all the... ...animations and... ...and everything. I can't really fight them until I have hearts here and stuff. I think you die here, actually. Yeah, like, I, I, on, I'd really, really, really like to hear your guys' stories in the comments of what he's done to influence your lives, and I genuinely, I would love to read through them, dude. I'm, I'm like, 100%. I would really, 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 really like that. I mean, I've told you my stories. You know, I really thought I would turn super. I remember as a kid... Whenever I would get anxious, and I was in situations that made me uncomfortable, that I just wanted to escape. You know, when I had anxiety, or I embarrassed myself in public. I remember my coping mechanism used to be, constantly when I was a kid, was just like, I'm gonna turn Super Saiyan, I'm gonna be a Super Saiyan, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna be a Super Saiyan. Like, I would just be, I literally would just repeat that to myself in my head. Because it just made me feel... Just comfortable and made me feel like I could escape from the situation growing up a lot. And that's what I used to tell myself. And it just, I don't know, it made me feel better. I remember because when I first started therapy, I think like in high school after a tumor or whatever the fuck happened, I can't remember. I remember I told 
there was about that, and he, you know, obviously described it as a coping mechanism, and but that was still my go-to, right? It's just I know that sounds cheesy and stupid, but that is what it was. And I'm not ashamed to admit that. Never really. I don't think I've ever said that out loud. Actually, funny enough. But yeah, I would love to hear your stories, guys. Just to hear your stories and your respects to Akira. Please leave me a comment, you know, a little story time. Oh wow, I might as well just die for that. That was really unlucky. Got the defense as well. We're Max Pen though. Who was it? Go Crusher, but yeah, just leave me a comment. Maybe a childhood story. Maybe a. Your experience with the series, stuff like that, I, I genuinely love to hear it, man. Like, I would really, really, really like to hear it. So, yeah. I appreciate it, boys. Also, I know unrelated to this. Not taking away from this by any means, but... After this video is uploaded on stream, I'll be doing a giveaway for a Smite 2 code on my stream. If you would like to come by... By all means, you're more than welcome. I don't think he can fight me. I mean, maybe he's got double defense now, no problem. But yeah, this is... Sean Schemmel, the voice actor of Goku. I know Vegeta. I don't know if Sean's made a statement yet. I know uh, uh, Chris Sabat has. Oh, he's transformed too. Oof! And you just lost your transformation, dude. This is like the worst engagement for you. Oh my god, wow. None of those Hydra's hits fucking hit him. That's so unlucky, wow. Guy's so lucky, holy shit. That was a terrible engagement for him. He engaged with his ult, done. He engaged with the ultimate, finished. Don't tell me you get my phoenix off of one. You're gonna get it, too. Fuck. He engaged with passive down. Oh my goodness. Ulted and never even got his passive. That's nuts how that worked out for him. Whatever. I'm just gonna ult for his phoenix. I don't really care. I misplayed that so hard in the prior engagement. I assume this game would be over by now. Is 
Nice. There goes this transformation. We just don't fight him until it's done. Again, a waste of it. I'm not too mad about that. I misplayed. I that engagement up there. I should have just fucking won it. Whatever. That's not what this video is about. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave the video a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your stories. Have a good one, guys. Bye bye.